Yo, 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 what's up, what's happening, what's going on, it's your boy Chang Wang, welcome to the vlog, y'all already know what to do, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos, alright, let's get into this whole, this whole viral content that's going on right now between Jim Jones and Freddie Gibbs, right, it's all over the internet right now, you got everybody talking about it, especially DJ Academics, he is eating this up, now, the narrative of this story, I done heard so many stories, but I'm going to try to break this down from what I believe off of all the speculations. Oop -de -oop -de -oop -de -oop. But let's go back. Let's let's take it back down memory lane. Let's let's talk about the origin of how this whole boots thing started, right? So apparently, Freddie Gibbs is a rapper. I don't really listen to him. Um, But he known on the internet for like trolling, sneak this and getting under people's skin. Like he then came at people like Meek Mill, uh, Rallo and Gilly the Kid, um, 21 Savage. You get what I'm saying? DJ Academics. Jim Jones. So apparently years ago, I can't remember how long ago it was, but y'all remember when um Jim Jones was on that vamp life, right? He was repping that vamp life real heavy. So he had took a picture, you know, throwing up the uh the VL. So apparently Mr. Gibbs took it upon himself because he's a, a alleged vice lord and basically all oh, Jim Jones a B, he ain't like that, he fake, he this and he that, stop claiming something that you not whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop, right? Now we all know what Jim Jones is affiliated with. I'm not gonna really sit here and say all that. If y'all don't know, y'all do y'all research. Cause I ain't here for all of that. So Jim Jones basically like, look, listen, man, I ain't forget about what you said. You do little sneak distance from here and there. You troll when you wanna troll. When I see you, I'ma see you. So apparently they was at this spot. It's out, it's out of Miami. It's a restaurant called Prime 112, right? So Vlad, shout out to Vlad, Vlad TV, DJ Vlad, he got the drop and basically what the story is, basically Jim Jones and his entourage, I don't know if it was security, I don't know if it was people out of his set, his crew, whatever, but they was leaving out, I believe they was leaving out of the restaurant and they spotted Gibbs, right? So apparently Jim Jones goes over there, some words get exchanged. Now one of Jim Jones people straight swing on him, right? Jim Jones follow up. Now they saying that after that, you know, a scuffle got a scuffle went down, and I guess one of Gibbs, uh, Freddie Gibbs, security got knocked out. They was putting hands and feet on him, allegedly. Now, like I said, it ain't no video footage going on right now. That's the crazy part. It's no video footage, and they and neither one of those two has spoke upon it yet. But I'm not gonna say it's fake, and I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna say it's not fake. You get what I'm saying? This is just what's going on on the internet. But um. At the end of the day, if this situation there is true, bro, you got to watch what you say, bro. Like, at the end of the day, people don't be playing about this whole internet stuff. You trolling. You trying to get out of people's skin. And I ain't going to say Jim Jones the toughest dude in the world. But, I mean, hey, Jim Jones has been in scuffles since I was a kid. So, he ain't, he ain't afraid to, to get hit, take an L, whatever the case may be. I mean, we know the guy in the gym. Um, So, I mean, listen. You sitting there, you playing with people like that. Jim Jones might not be the one that go the hardest, but it's always somebody that is. So it just goes to show, like, watch what you say. And then it's like, yo, y'all too old for this, man. Like, the dude is, what is he, what is Freddie Gibbs, like, 38, 39? Jim Jones in his mid-40s, 44, 45? Like, come on, bro. Like, but I understand. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to address the situation. Now, it could have, it could have maybe not have went down like that. They could have maybe just talked it out. But at the end of the day, listen, you sitting there, you trolling me, you saying this, that, and third about me. I got to see you too at the end of the day. So I'm not saying that he right and I'm not saying that he wrong. But at the end of the day, Slim had what he got coming to you. You can't sit there and be trolling on people thinking that ain't nobody going to see about you. You get what I'm saying? And then I heard, because DJ Academics been doing some sneak this, and I heard that, what is it, his... His father the DA or his brother the DA? I don't know. Basically, you trying to say, like, man, that, that boy a snitch. I don't know. I can't say. I don't really know too much about the guy. I never even heard none of his music. But I do know that he's a rapper. I heard he got in tour with Jeezy too before. Like, he just, he just troll. He's just like an internet troll, basically. You get what I'm saying? He, I feel like he get more clout off of that. But, um, hey, I don't know if the situation is going to be dead it. Um, I don't know if this guy's going to try to get some retaliation. Because you know how the fans and people they gonna try to hype it up like oh yeah you got jumped you a whoop de whoop you better go get your get back so i don't know what's gonna happen i'm waiting for somebody to come out and speak on it um i got him coming out speaking on it freddie before jimmy did but jimmy been getting the backlash off the internet with this whole six nine wiretap conspiracy thing so i don't even really think jim jones gonna do too much of it because the last time i really like seen jim jones like publicly was at the verses 
You get what I'm saying? And then there was some stuff going on with that. Saying he had one of six nine chains on. Allegedly. I don't know. I wasn't checking for it. But um, I don't know, bro. If that situation is true, bro. Hey, all I'm going to say is, look, the boy had it coming. Jimmy was on it. Oh, I see him right there. Let me holler at him real quick. Now, it might have been a conversation that was going down in the right way. But who knows what somebody said to trigger somebody alarm. It could have been a, a, a cordial conversation and then it just went left. What you doing walking up on me? You never know. You get what I'm saying? But like I said, every action got a reaction. This story is funny to me, though, because the way academics were describing it, bro, like he, this man just got drugged. They said they were trying to say he was running around the table. They said he ran to the back. I don't know, bro, but you know how people, they're going to make their own narrative. But basically, that's just what happened. Um, I want to see if there's going to be some video footage. I know somebody recorded it, bro, and it was a fan that was in there. They said he got some video. He was sitting down eating. Look, and then it was like somebody was recording him, try to record it. So I don't know, bro. But all I'm gonna say is I want to see the video footage so I can really see if this for real. Cause it, it might, it might be staged, it might be fake, just for just for the clout. You know how people do stuff like that. But I don't know. We are gonna see. Cause it's all over the internet right now. We are gonna wait about a day or two see if somebody come out about it. If not, then it's probably it's, you know, it probably was fake or whatever. It was just something for us to talk about. But um, I ain't gonna go too much off in the rant about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, and I'm out.